It has already been over two years since the last James Bond film was released and the world is yet to know who will take over the mantle after Daniel Craig bowed out, but now a clear favorite has entered the frame. Action film fans will be no doubt excited to learn that Aaron Taylor Johnson is the bookie's favorite to play the MI6 spy. The 33-year-old actor has been a hot favorite to take on the role and is hitting screens in a new action film. The actor broke into the mainstream with the rom-com film Angus, Thongs and Perfect Snogging before going on to play action roles in violent comic book flick Kick-Ass and later played Quicksilver in the Marvel film Avengers, Age of Ultron. This year he was due to play adventurer Sergei Kravinov in the Marvel film Kraven the Hunter, but the film release has been delayed until August 2024. Reports have suggested Aaron will soon be announced as the next Bond, while Oppenheimer and Batman Begins director Christopher Nolan is hotly tipped to direct the next film in the series. An insider told The Mail Online, Aaron Taylor Johnson is currently the hot favorite to step into the iconic role, he's the first choice for, Bond chief producer, Barbara Broccoli, he is the one to beat. And addressing the possibility of Christopher being the director, the source added, he is extremely interested in doing something very different with the franchise. If he can get his way with producers, then he is all for it. But the source also hinted that Christopher being director could impact Heron's chances of being cast in the role. The movie source told the publication, whether Nolan coming on board will affect the casting of Aaron Taylor Johnson is currently a grey area, as he's very particular with who he works with. Aaron himself has, however, expressed a keen interest to be directed by Christopher, so the pairing could be a match made in heaven. Aaron told The Hollywood Reporter in 2020, when there's an opportunity to work with someone like Chris Nolan, you just hope to get your foot in the door. He is always going to have his go-to actors, so you never know if something is going to come around or not. John David Washington, Robert Pattinson and Elizabeth Debicki were already on board, weeks away from shooting, and I was just waiting in the wings and putting my hand up, going, I would really love to get in a room with Chris Nolan. And it was quite a process if I'm being honest. I went through a couple of different castings before I could even get in the room to do another audition for him. So it wasn't a done deal. But the best things are worth fighting for and putting yourself out on a limb. So it didn't come about that easy, but luckily, he gave me the part. And it didn't matter to me how big or small the role was. I just wanted to be in his presence on his next movie. Aaron was the bookie's favorite to take over Bond in December last year, as reports claimed he had already filmed a test scene for bosses. A source said at the time, Aaron has impressed bosses so much that he has filmed one of the franchise's famous gun barrel teaser scenes, something all the Bond actors do. That move takes him a step closer to signing a deal. Bosses at the brand were really impressed with his unique blend of acting intensity and his impressive back catalogue of action films. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads. Thank you.